Hey beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I got another video for all of those that have been asking what products do I use on my hair. So let's get into it. Alright, so the products that I really use or really like to use are sulfate free, paraben free, mineral oil free, and um, alcohol free. Um, my favorite shampoo um, in my stock is Design, is Design Essentials Gentle Balance. And this is a sulfate free shampoo. Um, I got it at my local beauty supply store. I also like to use the Sign Essentials Stimulation Super Moisturizing Conditioner. This conditioner, it feels like um, it has mint in it, but I don't think there's any... Oh, it does. It has peppermint oil in it. Um, when I apply this to my hair, I feel like a, like a cooling sensation to my scalp. Like... It really, 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 really feels good. So this is one of my favorite conditioners that I use. Um, my all-time favorite leave-in conditioner is the Kinky Curly Not Today. This is um, also a detangler, and it smells really good. It has like a fluorescent or a flowery fragrance to it, and it's super lightweight. So I like this one. For my twisting, um, twist out styles, I like to use As I Am Twist Defining Cream. Um, the smell is kind of a, it's not potent, it doesn't have a fragrance, that much of fragrance to it. Um, I would say it smells like rubber a little bit, I don't know, that's, that's me personally, but yeah, I like to use this one for my twist outs. For my intense treatments, um, deep conditioning treatments, I like to use True by Made Beautiful. And this is called the Intense Treatment Mask. This is for 1B, 1C, 3A, 3B, 3C, 4B, and 4C. And it's meant to restore and repair your hair. And my gel of choice, I like to use Equal Style. Equal Styler, um, olive oil, it has a maximum hold of 10, so that's my staple. And for my edges, I use Curls um, Passion Fruit Control Paste. This is practically done. I want to get my hands on the blueberry one that they just released, so I'm going to try that out and I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. It's probably going to be the same because it's the same formula. It's probably just a different smell. But yeah, I can't wait to try that one out. Um, and my DIY um, oils, I like to put my oils in an applicator bottle. And I usually mix it with peppermint oil, rosemary oil, um, olive oil, water, and my kinky curly not today. Sometimes I would mix it with my Jamaican black castor oil. It depends on um, if I'm really looking for a very moisturized oil uh, product or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's my primary um, essential oil mix. I would apply this to my hair two to three times a day depending on if my hair needs it or if it doesn't. So yeah, that's basically it. It's not that um, fancy. Those are the products that I use all the time. I don't like to switch up my products because I want to know what exactly I'm using for my regimen. And um, if it's not working, I can opt with a different line or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, I hope this video um, pleased you guys. I hope you guys got the information that you were looking for. Um... My hair type, I know people are probably going to ask because I know when I recently cut my hair in December, people were asking what was my hair type. I still don't know. I know the black, the, the black, <laughs> the back of my hair is 3C. It's very, very loose. It's about maybe a Sharpie, a size of a Sharpie, and it's coily. And the middle is crinkly. It's a zigzag, but it's like big crinks. It's not small. And the top of my hair is, I don't even know what it is. I'll probably do like a close-up of my curl pattern. So I would like to say I'm like 3C type 4 hair. Um, so I don't want to really tap into much of that because I really don't know. 
But yeah, so those are my staple products and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Have a wonderful day.